Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to go and do some logistics from Pneumaticraft. So let's get started. So here we have a th set of things we can actually make. I forgot about the green actually. Default story trend. So we have to make a logistics configurator. That's very important. We'll do that first because it also needs charging up. So what do we need for that? We need some red dye and we need an air canister, lever and some compressed iron. That shouldn't be too difficult. We can make an air canister no problem whatsoever. It looks like I'm a bit short on compressed iron. Maybe we can do it. Four, we should be able to do this, yes. No, we haven't got enough compressed iron. But I have got some blocks of compressed iron and I hope they're in here. Great concrete powder. Block of compressed iron, good. Actually, I don't have too much. I don't have too much as it happens. I'll have to probably make some more. We might as well turn these into ingots to start with anyway. <clears throat> so we can then finish this off. And take it out. Well, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go add smart configuration. Right. as the achievement. So in here, where I probably have got lots of glass. Um, and here, lots of iron. Can't quite get a full st stack of uh, 10 stacks of iron. Let's, let's get the rest of these into the, to the chest, actually. And then we can shift click those up. What we're short of just two more. And these are these ones basically I put through back to the crusher to make some sand. To make some glass and the glass, the reason I'm making lots of glass is because we need to um upgrade the solar panels. And these things take a lot of glass just to just to get to that. It's only a tier four one. So right now we should have Oh, I wanted some iron, didn't I? Well, I'll tell you, I'll come up in that second when that's ready. And I'll see you in a few seconds when I've got some blocks of iron. Well, we've got enough to start with anyway. Let's make um, four sets of these. I've probably got a few extra, so we have to get rid of those, but that's no problem. We'll do that as I'll put them all through. So let's just craft these into blocks. So let's do the recipe of this one. And then we get the recipe of this one, and we can then shift click them in. So we get 28 blocks with four over. So we can simply put everything into the. Um, Compress it and let it work its way through the pressure chamber. What is what I meant? So we can put those through there like that, and there through like that. And this should have plenty of pressure in it. So look. So yes, 4.9, and you can see here is 4.9. This, by the way, I think. Oh, ah, yeah, that's fine. It's the regulator that wasn't has changed. And you can see those get taken out straight away, and the other one should come in the. the so we're looking here, we've got four, five, six. And there should be some ingots coming into here as well. So we've got plenty of iron now. Let's take those out and those out. And stop messing around, so get those out. So we've got 28 blocks. Which I thought I had some more, but no. So let's get on with this, um, the bits we need for logistics. Well, logistics, if you don't know, basically means moving stuff around. Um, <clears throat> So let's have a look, what are we going to do here? So what we have here, we've got this, I put it on the charger, so it's charging up. We've got logistics drones, we've got this logistics core, and we have these logistic frames, and we have this logistics module. So the logistics module is actually the first thing we need to do. So we also need to make some more pressure jimming up. Um, again, it always wants purple glass. I'm going to use the purple glass, because why not? So I can do that again. Get another set of these coming through. Now it doesn't really it prefers white glass for some reason. So glass is in here. I'm going to make a few of these because why not? Yes, of course I've got nothing in there. Let's do another one, another set. That should keep us going for a while. Twenty-four. The glass back. In fact, I probably should be better off making those into here, wouldn't I? Because then we got the glass already, and I think it works better. And we've got blocks of iron over there, so with a compressed iron. I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. We're going to use it, whatever else happens in this pack. So now we need to make this one up. So this is basically reinforced brick tiles around a redstone. So what we're missing is redstone and reinforced brick tiles. So we'll get some redstone out of here. Eight will be fine. And reinforced brick tiles. Are, let's take a stack of this. Two stacks. 
So we're going to make some more reinforced stone because we've got some in. Uh, we haven't got any in here as it happens. But it's not a bad thing to have. So we'll just do this around here like that. Four, I wonder. So I've gone too far. Try again. So we should get 16. But I've only got 15 ingots here, so I'll have to put those through. And get nearly two stacks. Just want one more ingot of iron. Let's be honest, we don't need to really mess around with this, do we? Then we need some brick tiles. So I'll make a stack of brick tiles. So we've got a stack of reinforced stone and a stack of reinforced bricks. So I th this should now be possible to note we need reinforced brick tiles, which is again this. So let's just shift those and we get some reinforced brick tiles. So that's just going one more time around this. And then we should be able to make these up. So eight will be fine. We'll make eight of these to start with because we're not sure how many we're going to need, but They'll, get, they'll all get used up because they're also used in the drone uh, and they're also used in these modules here, something like this. So we're going to make, let's have a think how many we're going to make for this to start with. I need some more redstone by the looks of I think we'll make as many as we can so we can make eight of these logistics modules. So then we have here these logistics frames. So what can we do with these? Oh, I need some more of these. Logistics cores, right. I'll be back in a second. I'll do this off camera because I've just done it. Right, I made another eight. Let's make up a logistics frame. We get eight for this, so that's not too bad. So we get eight of these different frames. Uh, I've got probably quite a lot of red dye. I don't need any more. Let's put that away. The yellow dye, let's make some of these. Another eight. That's right, I'll probably better click in here and type, try again. Let's do that make these up make up the we'll do one set of each to start with we're probably bound to need more later on and one set of the default storage modules actually it's not moved over okay fine so that's it so now we've got eight logistics and we've got all of these bits and pieces and we should be able to make up a drone as well so we need some turbine rotors for that we need three of these so we need nine of these turbine blades so we need nine gold and 18 redstone smart storage okay so we need nine gold and one more should be allow us to do that so let's get that done as well get this processing while we're actually we're here so nine of those plus those. I'll leave the redstone. We need um, 18 redstone, don't we? Hope that was cal calculations correct. I think my arithmetic struggles sometimes, but at the moment it seems to be okay. Now I'm waiting for this to go in. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Very fast, as you can see. So they, these will come into here. So we've got nine. Eight. I don't see the one gone down there. Okay, good. It wasn't quite fast enough. So from that we can make up the blades. Oh, miscalculated. I need twelve. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't very sensible. Right, I'll be back in a second with the other one. So I got that. I got the fourth one. So we can simply make this up as well. So we get a logistics drone. I'll leave the storage. Hopefully I remember where the other logistics scores in there. And um, we'll come over here and we shall um now we shall start to work. Oh yes, this one needs charging up as well, of course. So let's just make sure we don't have anything in our hand. So this is charged up to six point eight bar, which is fine. So we can then put the logistics drone in here as well, and this will charge up to whatever pressure is in here. This is running flat out, and the pressure should maybe be building up. I'm not hundred percent sure. Let's have a look. No, it's not. So it's basically reached its maximum pressure. And I think that everything is off. So it should increase slightly more over time, but um, I don't think anything of these are actually wasting pressure. Oh, yes, this one is. Look, that one's on. So turn that off. Let's check what we've got in here. So we've now got gasoline. 
and I wanted to swap this gasoline over to being the next one. Is that off? Just double check it. State is on, threshold is zero bar, good. If you leave one of those in the pressure, it really does reduce a lot. So you do have to have a lot of these liquid compressors to get this away. But it's working very nicely. It's temperature is nice and cool and the pressure should in fact be increasing. Let's have a look. Now it's going up. Good. So this should also be charged. No, it's charging up slowly. We'll let it go on with it. So the first thing we can do with these here is we can take... Where are they now? The logistics modules and it says inline no so you can press shift so this module communicates with other logistics modules on connected tubes to perform logistics tasks with any inventory tanks in its it is pointing at which are which are fitted with the logistic frame it uses pressure from the tube and to do so right okay so what we can do here now is we can take from here the fuel and take it and put it into another one so I was thinking maybe this isn't the best this thing I've done over here because I've got all this with water in it and a pump um, and I've got the the vortex heater here tell you what I'm going to just build another one of of the pneumatic thermoneumatic processing plant I'll be back in a second so what I decided to do is to build another one and put it here because it's got a bit the layout already as I want it. So now we're going to try and move the stuff from one place to another. So what we need here, and this is actually a bit awkward because we need to put in yet another face for this to get pressure in it. So let's use this face here. I did put down some, um, some trap doors so you can see that there's, there are no problems with heat loss. Let's remove this trapdoor. So at the moment it's not running because it's, it's turned off, so there's no heat loss. It'll complain about it now, which is good. So what we can then do is we can put these logistics modules on here like this. Let's go back a bit. No, I can't do it. Do I need a pipe? Let's put down a pipe. Right, th then we can put a logistics module on here. I think I have to do it from this side. Yes, we do. So we have to put it on the face of the pipe here like that. So you can see it's now connected. It's red because it's got no pressure. I'm not yet sure. We'll have to look at this and see what this channel. It doesn't say what the max pressure of this is, which would imply to me that it doesn't matter that much. So let's, I probably need some more tubing by looking at, by looking at this. So let's go and make some more tubing and I'll be back in a second. So this time it's working, I'm just making some tubing, some blocks. It's got 10 upgrades in this controller here. And so the pressure's actually good. Um, when I have a, a basic pressure pipes going up to here, this usually starts to run out of power. Um, so you don't have quite enough power, it's not getting quite enough in. But now it's fine, so you, it's working perfectly. It's not running out, it's not running in, and it's working reasonably quickly as well. So in here we want 60, and I'll probably end up with about 40 of these when I've finished, but 24 for now is good, so we'll carry on with this bit. Um, I suppose the only way to be able to tell is if this is working by putting the piping down. So let's just do that here like this, and then that one should connect it in. So this is now should have pressure in it. It won't have any pressure in yet because this is turned off on this side. I'm just thinking whether I should bring it across or not. Mm, we won't. We'll leave it like that for the time being. We'll do the same over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, gasoline that's in here and put it into here. That's the intention. So we need, again, we need some more piping. Oops, not bad. <laughs> Let me just quickly block this off, like that. That's just a right click, by the way. So then we can put onto this one here the module, like that. And when this module's got enough pressure, so look at it. it doesn't tell me. 
Okay, so it needs... Oh, yes, okay, it does tell me. Look at it now. It says maximum pressure. Tw 20, and it's offline, because it needs a 20... F it needs 3 bar. Okay, so that's good. So what we can just... I'll put, I can refit, fix that again so it doesn't do that. So these are working now. So now we have to put in some frames. There's different things I'd like to do. So for example, in here, we have a liquid hopper here and we have a small tank here. We have a llama in the way. So what I'm going to do is I want to put into this a another logistics module. The only trouble here is, of course, is getting the pressure out of it. I'll tell you what, I'll just come, I'll probably run it underground from here and I'll be back in a second. Well, I've run it underground, so I just need to put in the logistics module in here as well. So that should, in fact, get enough pressure because this one, in fact, let's get that off here. What's it say? Zero pressure at the moment. Oh, it's because it's not connected. I left that to the last bit, of course, because that makes the most sense. So the last bit, let's just connect it in. Like that. So this has got eight bar going through there, fine. And that will go green immediately. So that's basically the network set up. So what we're going to do now is we set up the frames. These are the important bits. So we've got five different types of frames. We've got a default storage frame. And you would use that for... Um, storing things which are excess basically so it stores everything that's excess we've got a requester frame as you can press shift so that can be used to request items from the network we've got an active provider frame that provides both request frames and storage frames so there's two types of frames so we've got a passive provider frame and we've got a logistic storage frame so the difference between the default and the and the logistic storage frame is it basically so that only works by an active provider and this one here is like this but it what's it say it does so it's a lower priority so this gets filled up first and then this one so what we need of course is either a passive provider frame or an active provider frame on these and it doesn't for this what we're going to do today it doesn't matter in the slightest so we come along here with our provider frame here and then we right click this so now that is providing um, kerosene so we come along here now we want to get into the kerosene and coming into here so then we need a requester frame like that we put the requester frame on here as you can see now what we have to do is we have to tell it how much we want to request so let's take the logistics configurator that's what this is for and right click the frame so here you've got a list of items and here you've got a list of fluids and if you left if you just left click this you can select what fluid you want so we want in here we want kerosene coming in and it's as simple as that so we just click it and then we can say how much kerosene we want to have in here um, so at the moment it's one bucket's worth let's have a look at the capacity of this here Got to get more so the capacity is 16 buckets so we can then say we want to have 16 get on here again 16 of these so you right click that's two buckets right click again three buttons so you shift right click it you'll go six buckets 12 buckets unfortunately I should have done it like that so we've got 16 buckets in here now and then we say the minimum fluid requirements so the minimum fluid requirements let's say it's 200 milli buckets wrong one um, I've got to type one in here. Go have to click it then, do I? Yep. So I want 200 milli buckets. A fifth of a bucket. He was not going to come and come to this and, and provide fluid when there's less than 200 milli buckets of space available. Well, at the moment, there's plenty. So now we need to turn this on, like this. So we should be getting here now. This is green, as you can see, and it should already be filled up with. Um, and you can see it's already working just as like that so it's already got its kerosene in here you see it's going down to 15,800 and then it goes up again just fills it up again if 
depending on the stuff, of course, and then it's processing that just fine. So now what I want to do is the same thing over here. Um, but I have a slight difficulty here, because what I'd like to do on this one is to also um, use this as a prov as a provider, and you can't do two on at the same time. So you can't take a logistics provider for us. Let's do the red ones. It makes no difference. The cost is the same, just a different colour. You can't put it on there. So we have to take the liquid out of here and put it into a, a tank. So now we can do that. On here we should see we've got a an upgrade in here. Have we got upgrades in here? Clear inventories. Yes, upgrades. I hear the upgrade slots are down here. So we can do a volume upgrade which increases the capacity. We can do a dispenser upgrade. So let's make some dispenser upgrades and up which are over here. We haven't made any of these yet. There's quite a few llamas and traders around at the moment. They seem to be building up. So let's take off that again. We don't need the regulators in here. What we need is dispenser. That's actually a display table. I've never made one of those. Let's make one of those for fun. No, we can't do because we haven't got any of this. Let's make some of this up. Let's put that back into there. Make up a display table. Oh, I still haven't got enough iron on me. Right. Tell you what. Let's take these three out of here and then make a display table up in it just for the sake of it. I want to see what this does. But also at the same time, I want to make these. So we need some nether quartz and some. No, yes, just so another quartz and some lapis or lapis matrix upgrades and a dispenser. So we're missing another quartz and dispensers. Now, dispensers is one reason I, ke I keep bows because <laughs> these right I get to the right place. I've got uh, three bows here which I can't put into the storage. I can make two dispensers, that's fine. So let's make some dispensers. We can probably do that from here. So we can use this recipe. Put the two bows in there like that. I can't do that. Okay, now I can do it. So we can get those stacked up. Clear that off. And then we can make the dispenser upgrade. Have I got? Yes, I've got enough in here. That's good. So we just need quartz. Four quartz. In fact, let's actually even make, let's even make eight. Let's double this up. I've got enough components for doing that. So we should be able to make two of these. Fantastic. And then we can use a small tank. So let's get a small tank out of here. That one's got something in it. And I've got a couple in here, I think, four. Okay. So now we can push this without having to create a, a liquid hopper directly into into this small fluid, fluid tank. Let's get rid of this first of all. Okay, now let's put the small fluid tank down beside it here like this, which is empty. Now this just needs a dispenser upgrade in it. Let's put one of those into there like that. And sure enough, it's filled in this tank. Actually, that was very fast, faster than I expected to be. So now we can put onto here uh, a a liquid oh, sorry let's just take that I'm not sure what that was just that was clearing off the stuff so we can put that onto here now that's not going to work until we put another one of these requester frames on here let's do that as well uh, logistics modules I mean of course I need to put the pipe down first put the pipe down it's going to leak air I'll tell you what we can do that easily enough let's just take the wrench right click the end of this tube so it's not going to link in like that and then actually I saw it going and then let's put down a piece of pipe here and then we can put the logistics module onto this one here like that and then we can link these two back again so like this get it in the right place Okay, so those are now green. This is now providing. Um, this we're now providing 
gasoline. So we come along here now, we want to get the gasoline into here. Because what I would like to do with this is I'd like to um, process the gasoline into LPG. So we've got that already set up. So all we need to do now is put another requester frame on here. Tell it what we want. We need the, we need the requester configurator. So what is, this time what we want is to have 16 buckets of um, gasoline. Let's put gasoline. There's two. Yeah, this is the gasoline. Like that. So you right click, shift right click that. Gives you 2, 4, 8, 16. Come along here and configure this again to being, say, let's say 1,000. So it's not going to keep filling this up. And that should be all we need to do. So all we need to do now is turn this on. This will give it pressure, as you can see. And then this is going to start, should be getting fluid in. Let's have a look at this. And sure enough, it's got 16 buckets of gasoline in here. And that's now getting converted to LPG. So I want to do the same thing again. So I'm going to put another dispenser upgrade into this. And I'm going to get another small tank and put that beside it. Let's just put this display table down here. And let's just, I'm going to right click this. Yes, I can right click it, but I want to do with the Amadron tablet. So there you are. So I guess you just shift right click, no, just right click it to take it off again. So it holds one item, this display table, inventory of one item. So let's go and get another small tank. Um, by the way, what I did with this is I turned it to face up, so it wasn't putting water in here. So that's now producing that. So what I'm going to do is come along here, and I'm going to do the same thing here. What I want to do here is I would like to put into this the LPG that's coming out of there. Bit of a, bit of a, a round trip. I think we've got everything we need. So what did I want to get from here? Another small tank. And that should be the only one I need. Of course, we're also getting gasoline from here too. We should probably also to use this gasoline as a provider again to provide the other one because it's going to take energy to, to process this one and also energy to process this one. So it's, it makes sense to do it that way. So now we need a small tank over here. a few seconds to break this put that down and as you can see this is now filling up with LPG now we're going to give this as another provider frame this time we'll use an active provider frame so anything that wants it can have it including storage so we'll put that into there like that we don't need to specify what's in because a tank because it can only be one thing in the tank can't there so now I need to just basically bring this piping up here now what I've got to do here is to remove this. Now at the moment there's no danger, it's, a, it's well within reach of, the, of there. So we can simply put onto here a, let's do this first of all, a logistics requester frame here. So it's going to use this as a requester frame and what we want to put into here is LPG. So let's right click this with the, with the right tool, the logistics configurator and select here LPG. Now LPG is the yellow one. Yes, it is indeed. So we can also shift right click this to get up to 16 millibuckets. So 16 buckets. So that's always going to maintain 16 buckets. Now we can shift right click this off with the, with the wrench. Shift right click after do, don't I? That didn't break it. So what we can now do is we can put a piece of pipe. I want to put the piece of pipe on here, so I need to right click that so it doesn't connect. Put the piece of pipe here, like that. And then we can put the logistics module on it this side. Of course I could do this above, but we'll do that another time, I think. So this time we can put one of these logistics modules here, like that. And then we can put into, that's it. We don't need to do it anymore because we've already configured it. So we just turn this, link this into this now, like, like that. So now it's going to get provided with LPG, hopefully. So look, 
none of it yet and it is empty so what have we done wrong I'm also going to put this safety tube module here just that should be okay we shouldn't have a problem with that so now oh, of course <laughs> nearly did it <laughs> so we need to do the same thing we just did last time put a stop on there put a pipe down and then we need the logistics module on here like that and then just link it in and as soon as we do that it's this side isn't it it'll start to go green and this will be filled up with, as you can see already, LPG. Now LPG burns slower than gasoline and I think that's probably the best. I was thinking about it, is that the best fluid? What I haven't specified on here is the amount. So let's get specified the amount. This will still have, in fact, have, if I'm not mistaken, let's get this one. It'll still have gasoline in it. Until this gasoline empties out, this will keep running on gasoline. So let's get this set up again here can't get the frame for some reason there we go I didn't specify the minimum we'll do the same thing here a thousand at the bottom and that should then be the case double check it's actually taken it as yes very easy to do and that's just fluids we can do the same things with items uh, I'm not going to do that today I'm going to do one more thing today I want to do a camouflage if I've got time I'll just have a quick check make sure we get something in our hand that doesn't affect the door and have a look at the camouflage oh it's not displaying it in there because they weren't linked together this one the camouflage applicator so this needs actually indico blue should have all of these things let's make one of these up not enough compressed iron let's just take half of that and put that in there I should be able to do with that now so if I remember right there's just four of these down here and then we need this so we've got the camouflage applicator so what we need to do, of course is charge this up so let's just do that we haven't looked at this one yet but we'll look at this one later on so it doesn't need much pressure in here. In fact, I think the pressure in here has gone. Go, it's balancing. It's not. It's not up there yet. If I need it to go up, then I'm going to take along here and put a speed upgrade into this. Shifter info. So you right-click any camouflageable block to apply or remove camouflage right click any block to record the block appearance shift right click anywhere to clear it okay so what we're going to do is we want to take grass blocks for instance let's right click that so it's now going to replicate grass blocks so we can do that here out of oh, I need glass I need grass blocks in my inventory didn't realize that okay no problem I should have a few of those around Uh, where are they? Not sure. Let's look in here. Oh, I don't know I'm doing that. Let's just type in grass. No, nope, I've got none in there, but I probably got it in one of my bags in that case. Oh, of course, it's in the dunk. Yep, 700 odd blocks in here, so take a stack of those. One ones, take a stack of these. Try that again. I might fill in this lake now, I don't need it anymore. It was protection at the beginning of the game, and now it's probably just more of a pain. So now, let's try this again. So we can then cover all of these blocks, as you can see, with grass blocks which makes things look a lot ne neater to start with. I won't do the ones at the side, I only want to do the ones underneath. If I press shift on that, uh, I 
cleared it, didn't I? There we go. I think there might be one down here as well. Small fluid tank. <laughs> no, I don't want to do small fluid. I'll have to remove this block in that case. Let's just remove this one. Right click that and then apply it to this pipe. Like that. Then we can put the grass block back in again. Like that. Like that. So then it, this looks a lot neater, of course. The pipe just disappears down. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I haven't shown the drone yet, but in fact, the drone is easier. We don't need to specify these. Uh, we don't need these modules, so we don't need the extra air tubes for that. But next time, we'll do some automation with that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate the um, matrix upgrade um, process. I'm going to move it because I'm going to move this pump away and we'll do that so we can then do items with the drone as well so until until then i wish you all the best bye for now